How's that tea? Good. <laughs> are you, uh, to, to get nice and relaxed, are you a tea person? Is that what you do? Um, I do love an afternoon tea, mm -hmm. yes. I have to imagine that you have a stack of scripts this high. Is that true or is that false that you have to get through? Um, you know, uh, it varies. Sometimes really? it's down here, sometimes it's, but sometimes it's. <laughs> do you like that process, uh, that part of the process? I love reading scripts, I, I, especially if the writing is good. Mm -hmm. But I don't say yes to anything unless it's something I can't not say yes to, and that was the case with this movie. If I can be totally intrusive. Now, if you like something, does Ben read it? And if Ben likes something, do you read? How does that dynamic work? Pretty much all the time. Yeah, I, he read this, um, and I, we do read, read each other's stuff, for sure. And you'll give feedback and say, yay, nay? We don't say yay or no, nay, but it's definitely a conversation. I mean, I, I, there's no one whose opinion I trust more, so of course I would, I would ask him. What were the things and layers about Timothy Green that just made it a definite yes? There was never a second that it wasn't going to be. I actually went and just told, begged Peter for the job and told him he had to give it to me. At this point in your career, you still will go... Yeah, I'll still hardcore. go. If he'd asked me to audition, I would have auditioned. I have no problem going for something that I really love. Um, I felt really strongly about it, clearly, but uh, I love so many things about this movie. I love how ambitious Peter is emotionally mm -hmm. with family, with um, the different kinds of familial love, mm -hmm. and how kids think that this movie is for them. Grown-ups think the movie is for them. You know, that, that's the perfect family film if everyone's getting something different out of it. And there's, you know, when I saw it with my two best mom friends, they cried their heads off the whole way through and at different times. And I said, was it that sad? Did you find it to be really sad? And they said, no, it's because I recognize myself up there. Mm. And because I remember feeling the way that, that you know, you feel in that, you're feeling in that scene. And it's such a strong pull. Peter just gets a lot about parenting really right. And marriage, I think. What about Jennifer the movie fan? Movies that happen to have a miracle. Do, do, do any spring to the top of your mind? Well, movies that you leave and they've been life affirming spring to the top of my mind. And I hope we are in that canon. Like, um, Forrest Gump, or E.T., or Odd Life of Timothy Green. I mean, those have a nice ring all together. I can't imagine you seeing E.T. for the first time. You must have just been so right there. I, I remember my little sister sitting on my lap and screaming in the theater, E.T., go home! <laughs> Run! You know? So, yeah, you want to feel that way in a movie, and you just don't see this kind of film anymore. It's original. It's... Um, it's not a sequel, it's not a special effects film, but it will, it'll hit you. So I'm just really excited for people to get a chance to go to the theater and see it. Wonderful. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you so much.